in the morning. Six to 12 inches of snow. The best possibility of that is in the southern half of the state, and you will notice we have added a pink shading here for the area with the best chance of getting locally over a foot of accumulation. And it's, I mean, this is mind blowing. You know, we thought that 44 inches in Croydon was was a lot, but this number was measured a little bit uh, earlier this afternoon at 48 inches in Danbury. Why is this important? This still remains the second highest one day total in the Granite State and now is the highest in the region and this surpasses anything in some of the hardest hit areas in both Vermont and New York State. Really just impressive. Good morning, everyone. Hope you can hear me and I don't know if you can see the conditions, but probably a foot of snow out here that I am just absolutely plowing right now in two-wheel drive nonetheless oh wow <laughs> this is definitely not what i was expect i actually don't know what i was expecting today wow i don't definitely don't think i'll be able to make it out of this yeah okay now in four-wheel drive because i couldn't make that let's see in two-wheel Okay, wow, the roads. I don't know, I might need to put on my extra lights because the roads are so bad. Just for so people can see me, not so I can see. So they wouldn't help at all, but I'm just afraid of being seen. Wow, it's complete whiteout condition. I bet you, oh, I bet you guys can't even see. Oh my god, complete whiteout situation. Definitely gonna flick those on just so I'm seen. I'm trying to get a little bit. Okay, looks like a truck, a plow truck in front of me. I know the wipers are annoying, but I have to keep them on. It likes to fog up. Or it likes to ice over. Wow. Definitely gonna stay in four-wheel drive. Don't feel like I need to go in two-wheel, even though two-wheel could be fun. Getting new tires on Monday, so that's gonna be interesting. I uh, went with Falcon Wild Peaks AT3s and 265 75 by 16. So just a little bit bigger than these. These are 70s. But these are Yokohamas. These are not anywhere near aggressive as I wanted it to be. But I mean they do they do okay. I haven't yeah, like stopping, I'm just sliding, absolutely just sliding like it's nothing. But that nice that GTI was moving, so you just need a good set of snow tires, that's it. And then you are golden. Cause you can have all like everyone says you can have all the traction aids, you can have all the lockers, A track, you know, crawl control, but if you can't transfer that power to the ground, then there's no point. Let's see, now this is getting tight. Wow. Cause I know you can't see it, but like literally Three, three, like another like six inches to my right, I'm sucked into that snowbank. Let's see, so let's see. Topton Borough really hasn't hit their roads because we're just about to go in to there. So, yeah, I don't even know if I can trust it in two wheel drive. I don't know. But yeah, see, I'm just yeah, understeering anywhere I go. I'm definitely gonna try in two-wheel drive so I can see, so I can find out the difference between these and how the Falcons are gonna be. I don't know. I don't know if I have to come to a stop to check it out in four-wheel drive, but I usually like to just go to like 20 miles an hour. Yeah, but see, yeah, as soon as I put in two-wheel drive and I give it a little bit, it's the, she's a little tail happy. So I might put a little bit of combination, maybe of some weight and the new tires. That'll probably do uh, like an amazing, like amazing difference. I was going to go down Lang Pond, but that's a summer highway, and I don't know if they've plowed up the, um, the thing, like the, the end of the road, because if they have, then it's really hard to get through. But wow, the snow's really coming down. I say we at least have a foot when you get into that. You're not in the like the lanes because they it's just it's hard to plow to keep up with it because it's coming down so fast. I need a uh, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I needed a little bit of speed for that 
hill. Oh, see, I'm just, I'm literally just sliding when I hit the brakes. I'm so glad I'm getting new tires. God, that's so weird. I was just like, I felt the back end start to come around when I just slightly tapped on those brakes, on my brakes. It's very disconcerting, very disconcerting. Um, yeah, it looks like this has only been plowed a certain way. I would like to play a little bit in the snow, just to get, but you know, don't want to get um, greedy. I also don't want to get stuck. The other guys here. Oh, you can go up to Abenaki. That's our local ski mountain. If you didn't know that, probably wouldn't. Because why would you? I mean, like, you give it, I give it any amount of gas that is a little bit too much, and it's squirrely dirly. So I'm gonna try to get. To give you another example of just how bad my tires are, I literally can't even get going when I stop. And that's just light, fluffy snow, so. And these are. Now you know. Now that I'm remembering, these are still aired down from when I had went off road, like the day after I put my leveling kit in. So. You know, that's like, that's the scary part. Well, I didn't really air them down. I aired them down probably 10 PSI, but that's so weird, just like how bad they are. I mean, in four wheel drive, it's fine. But like I said, like stopping like that when I gave it the brakes and it started to come out on me, and that's, that's very disconcerting and not something I want to mess with. And then when I did go off road, it was so bad, I could barely, get up this like slight incline. I mean, that was because the ice snow was like slushy and stuff and this is just nice and fluffy. <laughs> but, I don't know. Ooh, this person, I don't know what this person was doing, but, <laughs> uh, let's see, I should, yeah, I'm gonna take a left because I'm not going to be able to make, I don't think I'll be able to make it to that summer highway. I can't get stuck, I have to go to work in 30 minutes. But this, this is going to, this is a nice hill, I want to see if I can do it in two wheel, so I just flipped out of four wheel. But I'm wondering if maybe the speed is kind of stupid to carry, I don't, there's not any corners, so we're good. new wipers. hill and two wheel drive, so I'm going to go down here. Jesus Christ. That was, that was a little scary because I was, I don't know if you saw, as I was coming up the hill and there, that ranger was oncoming, I went, I had to go over to the right a little bit more and I drifted into like a little bit deeper snow and that and made my back end kick out. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, this looks like it. And, oof, that was not what I wanted to mess with. But this is a nice little spot, just again, to get some pictures. But it's so hard to get pictures because the snow's coming down so quick. Uh, I should, I gotta head to work anyways after this. I gotta pay for the stuff for the truck somehow. Oh, look at that. They're building a house. I never knew that. It's definitely new down here. 
Ooh, and I just slide. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need four wheel drive to back out of this. That was pretty funny. Get out of the sale, I'll be so fucking upset. Yeah, I was like, this is nothing. Yeah, I gave it a little more. Yeah, that's good. Ugh, oh, that beep.